Hi, readers. It's Lori. Welcome back to my channel. I have not done a tag video in a really long time, and I was inspired by watching Sarah at Sarah's Nightstand do the 54321 tag. And then she had said where she had received it, which was from Books and Beaches. And I watched that one too. And I just kind of got caught up in this. I don't know the originator of this tag, but it just seemed like a fun thing to do. So I'm going to go through the prompts with you in a minute. I'm not going to talk in depth about these books because it's just kind of a quick, I'm just going to give you a list kind of thing. But there are ways in which you can obviously find out more about these books. And the ones that I can't find physically at the moment, I will go into my, um, I will find a screenshot of them and post that for you. So I'm just going to give you a really brief little description of each one, and then we'll kind of let you go from there. I'm going to try to talk about books I don't talk about as often, uh, or maybe haven't talked about at all. I really recognize that sometimes when you do these videos of anticipated, and then you read the anticipated, and then you post about the anticipated, it gets to be a lot. So let's tr hopefully see some books I haven't talked about for a long time, if ever. Let me get my glasses, goodness sakes. Okay, so the five in this tag is five books I love. So here we go. I have one that I don't have and I don't own, so I won't be showing you that one, but one of them is The Postmistress by Sarah Blake. Beautiful cover, historic fiction, historical fiction. Love it. Obviously, if it's on this list, I love it. Recursion by Blake Crouch. I adore Blake Crouch. Great ride, science fiction. I love the female character in this one, as well as the other characters, too. Sue Monk Kid, The Invention of Wings, historical fiction about a real life character or characters. I cannot tell you how much this one broke me. I probably have talked about this more than once, but The 13th Tale by Diane Setterfield. It is a beautiful telling of a creepy, crazy story that I really, really loved. And then the last one that I don't have a copy of is Survivor's Song by Paul Tremblay. Speculative, viral, <laughs> you know, kind of literally about a virus. Uh, brilliantly done. Brilliantly done. Okay. The next number is number four, four auto buy authors for me. And those are Riley Sager. I know you're probably not surprised by that. Ruth Ware. Also not a surprise to you, Blake Crouch, because I just showed you a book by Blake Crouch. And actually, Ann Patchett is also an auto buy for me. Three books I can't stop talking about. I have talked about this one recently, The Story Life of A.J. Fickrey, a story about a bookseller and a um, child and a woman who comes into his life unexpectedly. The 100 Years of Lenny and Margot, the story of two friends, very disparate in age and connected by the fact that they both live in a care facility in the UK. And the third one, oh, this one's <laughs> Life After Life by Kate Atkinson, uh, the story about a woman who continues to die and come back to life again in different periods of time. It is a little challenging to keep track of, but just get in there for the ride. It's fantastic. Two books I think everyone should read. One, I couldn't get out of my boxes. I can't find it, but that's The Nightingale by Kristen Hanna, historical fiction, two sisters in France during World War II broke me. And 84 Charing Cross Road by Helen Hamp. It is the story of a woman who had an over 20 year correspondence, correspondence with a bookseller. And it's short, you can read it in like, I feel like I read it in an hour. I mean, I really feel like it's tiny, super short. I do need to get this one because I don't own it, but I really recommend it. And the last one is a book I'm really excited about. This started out differently. Uh, <laughs> and then here's what happened. There's a book called The Fourth Wing by Rebecca Yaros. It is fantasy. It is about a dragon rider, I think. It is one of, of, a, of at least two books. The second one will come out in November. I was like, eh, about this. I heard about it on a podcast, you know, whatever. 
And then it sold out, like literally the entire first printing is sold out all over the country. You cannot get it, folks. I am still trying to see if I can find it somewhere and I haven't. But because it became so ha- so like eagerly purchased and hyped, I think that is the one that in this moment anyway, I am the most excited to read. So we'll see if I end up with it. You know, fantasy isn't my thing, but we'll see. Okay, hopefully that was quick enough for you. Hopefully that sparked some ideas or maybe just some memories of books that you really love as well. And uh, if you want to play along and you have a channel, I would love to see that. Just let me know when you post it so I can see what your answer to these prompts are, answers. And as always, happy reading. Bye. Bye.